Hi, I am going to help you know how not to sing through your nose. I know you've heard things like you're singing through your nose or you sound nasal and you're like, what the heck do I do? And how do I fix that? Right? Because the person who told you that probably didn't say it in a really friendly way. So I'm going to help you with this. Now, who am I? I'm Naomi TK. I am a voice and performing coach. I help people to sing and perform and talk better. And I've been doing this now for over 29 years and I have helped more than 60,000 people. I've delivered personally 25,000 voice lessons. All right, so here is the tips you're looking for. First of all, this might shock you, but there's no way that you can actually sing through your nose. It's a funny term. People use it all the time, but the thing is, is that you cannot do it. Just try. This, you can't do it. So, in actual fact, when someone is saying you're singing through your nose, what they really mean is that the sound you're making with your voice is nasal. Nasal. And what that means, see, nasal has to do with your nose, right? But it actually has to do with the space between your nostrils, up inside, inside your nose, in the back of your throat, you have your tongue and this muscle called the soft palate. And that space between your soft palate and the back of your tongue are supposed to have lots of space between them, okay? That area back there, that is the amplifier that makes your voice louder and it molds the tone of your voice. And the way it's shaped has everything to do with the way you sound. You can control that by what happens with your tongue and the soft palate muscle in the back of your mouth. When your tongue, not the front part, not the front up here, uh -uh, but the part in the back that you don't really know or are aware of that you can control so easily, when that part of your tongue, the back part, is too close to the top, you end up getting a nasal sound, like I'll show you, like this. You see, as opposed to, ah. Now, I'm gonna show you how I'm going from a nasal sound to a nice full sound. Here we go. Mary had a little lamb. Now I'm going to correct it. Mary had a little lamb. You see, if you open up that space in the back, the nasalness goes away because it's caused because your tongue is too close to the back, upper back of your mouth. That's all it is. So you're not really singing through your nose. When they say that you sound nasal, what they really mean is that your tongue is too close to up there. And so the sound, the air that your voice is vibrating along the back part in that little pocket back there. And it makes you have that sound, all right? So all you gotta really do is relax your tongue in the back and open up your mouth more and you will get rid of a nasal sound. Some people have more of a tendency to talk more nasally than others because even though most of us are born with the same equipment inside your mouth and your throat and all these other muscles that you sing with, which, of which there's eight singing muscles, the thing is, is some people are born with their tongue bigger in the back or the space between the upper part of the um, soft palate and your back part of your tongue are closer together. Just naturally, they are more like that. Tongues are different shapes, the inside of your mouths are different shapes, and so people have different sounds that they make naturally. Also, if you have a sinus problem of some sort, it tends to make you have more of a nasal sound when you sing. So there are ways that you can fix the nasal problem, and there are ways that you can fix your sinus problem, and by, by doing that, by controlling these muscles, you can change that nasal sound. So if you have a nasal sound, what I want to tell you is that you can change it. You're not really singing through your nose. Next time somebody tells you that, just kind of smile and know that what they're saying, they don't really know what they're talking about, right? Because you can't sing through your nose. I mean, tell them to try it, right? <laughs> it won't work. All right. So I hope this has helped you. My name is Naomi TK. And if you want more tips and more tricks and things that you can do to learn how to sing better, I want you to go check out my site. Right there, it's voicercise.com. We have lots of information to help you. You know, in all the years I've been teaching, I've handled pretty much every problem that a singing person can have. 
including yours. So don't feel hopeless. Know that it can be fixed. Just go over to voiceofsize.com or you can click over here for my other videos that I have on my channel and check them out. And please like my page. You can share it with your friends. You can share it with people that you know that are embarrassed about their singing because I want everybody to be able to sing and have it be comfortable and fun and stress-free. I don't want you stressing out, okay? So have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Naomi TK and I am a singing... Let's try. You can't do it. So... Okay, so what you do is you go to sing your song and, oops, wait a minute, I messed up, oh my God. <laughs> do you want to learn how to sing, feel comfortable, and have it be stressful? Okay. Let me fix this part. Okay, I'm so happy that you're here. Anyway, bye.